Hello, my name is David James. I'm a senior application scientist at Thermo Fisher Scientific, based in Hemel Hempstead in the United Kingdom. Today I'd like to present to you the DXR3 Smart Ramen. The DXR3 Smart Ramen is a member of the DXR3 family of dispersive Ramen instruments. The DXR3 Smart Ramen uh, is a bulk analysis system which gives great flexibility and also versatility in the sampling capability for looking at bulk samples. Application areas could include QCQA, for example, incoming raw materials, sample conformity, and also be used in R&D and research applications. It can also be used, for example, in forensics, both criminal and also in uh, industrial forensics and also teaching applications as well. The flexibility and versatility is really based on two aspects of the instrument. The first is the choice of lasers available for the instrument. These can be configured by the user very simply, and the lasers available cover from 455 nanometer blue, 532 nanometer green, 633 nanometer red, and 785 nanometer near infrared. These lasers can easily be changed along with their associated filters and grating. The patented alignment and calibration tool enables optimal performance of the instrument. As far as sampling is concerned, a range of uh, accessories and modules are available for the uh, Smart Raman, which gives it the great flexibility. The standard uh, sampling interface is the universal platform sample, which is the system that is actually installed on the instrument at the moment. This provides ease of sampling. The laser enters here, comes up to the sample stage, and then any sample which is placed on here, and any container, so for example, glass tubes, bulk materials, samples in bags, and very similar kind of uh, uh, materials can be easily analyzed. The top plate here is also uh, swappable. This is the standard top plate for general sampling. One advantage and unique uh, feature of this top plate is the fact you can perform what's called VDPS, variable dynamic point sampling. Typically, we will actually use a focused laser onto the sample, but if you've got a sample which is heterogeneous, or maybe uh, is more sensitive to laser power, being focused at just one point, then by rastering the laser beam over a maximum area of five by five millimeters, you can actually get an average spectrum of the sample or mitigate any sample heating effects or laser effects on a, a sensitive sample. The actual top plate can be replaced also. It can be replaced, for example, with a, an Irish diaphragm a tablet, um, Holder, similar to what we use on the Antares uh, near infrared instrument, and also a motorized 96 well plate uh, system. And so, for example, it will take standard 96 well plates so that you can perform, for example, uh, characterization of polymorphs, maybe any form of uh, associative analysis uh, compared to, for example, X ray work. Additionally, the whole module itself can be replaced and that can be replaced with a 180 degree uh, sampling accessory. That has a, more, a small uh, stage on it, so you can move in the X, the Y and the Z position, so you can actually look at different positions on a sample very easily. Additionally, other modules include a carousel auto sampler, and also the system can be configured with fiber optics. With fiber optics in Raman, the actual radio rejection filter is in the head of the um, fiber optic itself and so what we have is a universal fiber launcher which makes the instrument then independent of the actual um, fiber used. 